Hey, what's up, everybody? Now, I don't know if you guys are a fan of Dark Side of the Ring with wrestling. I talk about all the most controversial events that happened the WWE or WCW, ECW. I talk about other wrestlers, etc. But I enjoy the Dark Side of the Ring, you know, trilogy and all the things they talk about. But one thing they talked about was the plane ride from hell. And I always heard about it. They always discussed it. I didn't know exactly what it was until I saw it today. And I want to talk about it for a minute. You know, looking back at 2002, and that's when it happened, I did wonder to myself, like, you know, a lot of wrestlers who got released, because I was a kid then, I didn't understand it. I remember, like, they were talking about Scott Hall, and they had to cut him, and I remember seeing him on Raw, and Kevin Nash and, and X-Pac attacking Kane, and them saying that he got fired for misconduct on Raw or whatever, and, you know, Mr. Perfect got in trouble. They were talking about Mr. Perfect, who was in NWA when Mr. Perfect would make promos about taking um, Brock Lesnar down at 3,000 feet in the air. <laughs> I didn't understand that reference until now, you know, and um, I guess they got into a big fight because Mr. Perfect put shaving cream on his head and splat him on him, and Brock Lesnar picked up and just ran him into the door. <laughs> he was getting a big push, too, so Brock Lesnar didn't get in any trouble. Goldust was spitting in the back seat of a um, of a a seat on the plane, which got him fined because Jared didn't want to fire him. Ric Flair, he um, apparently sexually harassed the flight attendant, and because he's so famous and so well known, he got a pass. But he did the, like the worst thing ever. And um, Scott Hall, he also got uh, he was got intoxicated and passed out. Was also being dumb. Um, but yeah, so many wrestlers on that plane got in so much trouble and like some of them just got a pass because they're favorites in the world today. But, um, it was a very good episode of Dark Side of the Ring. I really enjoyed the plane ride from hell. It was really good. Um, but yeah, like it just kind of covered up a lot of issues. Like now I understand why, uh, why a lot of people got kind of punished. Brock Lesnar didn't get punished. Rick Flair didn't get punished. Goldust, he um, got fined. Kurt Henning was going to get punished, but he uh, passed away a year later. And then um, you have uh, Scott Hall getting fired. <laughs> Scott Hall gets fired and Kurt Henning gets in trouble, but no one else does because they're too famous. But yeah, well, I was also read in comments that Bruce Pritchard was saying there's other plane rides that were a lot worse than that. But like, this was the most well-known plane ride incident where a lot of incidents happened in one and it just connected very well. And it was a crazy drama thing. Like Terry Runnels was there saying stories about Brock being, you know, immature and rude and whatever and um, showing off his junk to her. And Brock Lesnar didn't um, like, he didn't call him back or comment on any of the incidents that happened during that whole, you know, day of the plane ride from hell and the resurrection, resurrection pay-per-view when they were in England. Um, Ric Flair declined any thing he did with it, you know. He didn't unrobe and do all that. Ric Flair didn't discuss this. A lot of people who really did horrible things didn't really discuss it. But yeah, it was a really good documentary and it was... All right, it's amazing how they play favorites even when you do bad things, but that's my review for the whole Play Ride From Hell Dark Side of the Ring episode. That's all I want to say. Thank you for watching, and peace out, everybody. And check it out, guys. Play Ride From Hell Dark Side of the Ring, and um, it's a real good episode. I'm going to stop repeating myself. Again, thank you for watching, y'all.